why not using Excel to do tarot card reading? Okay, so in this video, I'm just having fun with Excel. Let me just show you how this spreadsheet works. So I come here and I just click on the button so that this is gonna pick up a random card between 22 deck of cards. Your card selection is false. So as you can see here, by pressing that button, I selected a card, which is the force, and it talks about power, courage to face challenges. So take control of yourself is the message that I got from this card. Okay, so now I wanna show you how I did this spreadsheet. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is under the developer, if you're not familiar with you know, the basics of VBA and if you don't have the developer tab in your Excel, I have a separate video, I'm gonna put it in the description, go and check it out and then come back and we're gonna look at this together. Okay, so uh, under the developer tab, if I come to my visual basic, Oh, sorry, I come to my macros and under the macros, I have this uh, simple code to unhide multiple sheets because I have 22 separate worksheets. So I don't want to do them, you know, I want to do them once by just clicking the run button. So now it's going to open up all the worksheet that I created, the 22 worksheet that I created. And each of them represent well, it's basically following the same format but each of them is just, you know, following the same format. I have the illustration and then I have the text with the interpretation, okay? So this was just step one to create the separate worksheets and that was just done under Excel. Then I came and I just created the list of the worksheets or the name of the cards that I have. So this, I did it as well. I didn't want to type it because I thought maybe later I'm going to add more cards to it because actually a deck of uh, tarot, this is the Marseille tarot. It seems that there are different kind of tarot cards. So this one is called Marseille, Tarot de Marseille. Uh, so this one, it, it seems that it's 54 cards. I'm not sure, but I just took 22 cards, which are called the major cards. And there are some minor cards as well, it seems. So I took these two uh, major cards and I just said, okay, now let's create the table of content. And I did that by using another uh, kind of um, code, which is just a table of content code. And we can see it here. This is just a, a simple code that is gonna go through the worksheets and it's just gonna create these uh, worksheets. And the next thing I did, I just said, okay, now let's use this function under Excel, which is called random between. And random between is just gonna pick up, uh, actually it's better if I select from here, this, this way we won't have this empty one. So I, it's just gonna select randomly one of these cells, okay? So if I press now, it's gonna do it. Your card selection is moving. So as you can see here, it, previously it was another one. I don't remember which one was it. Now it is moon card, okay? So that's, that's basically the one that is picking up a card by randomly. So this is using the function called random between. Then the next thing I wanted to add some uh, basically uh, kind of uh, interactivity between you know the Excel user and the spreadsheet. So I used this function, user defined function. I found it on the net on YouTube. It was one lady explaining this. So I'm just gonna put also the reference in the description. But it was basically a user defined function, read the selected code. It's a very easy one. So it says just, first of all, it's a function. It's not a sub. So you start with a function and you just give it a name. And then the next thing is that it's just a message. Your card selection is, this is the one that you heard, you know, the lady saying with the French accent, your card selection is. And then it's gonna just say out loud the worksheet name that was randomly picked up, you know, in that cell that you just saw. Okay, and then it's just going to say it out loud by using application.speech.speak and then saying the message. Okay, so that was the two things. There is another thing I did as well, and this was I didn't want the user to see all the worksheets, so I wanted the user to the, the Excel to hide these worksheets automatically. So, what I did in this one. As you can see here, if I, because there are two ways that you can create a macro, right? One is to include the code within the worksheet. So as you see, we are in the skeleton. As I, as I always say, the VBA ed editor is like your 
entering into the body of your spreadsheet and Excel, you know, in the Excel view, we are basically in the skin. So we, are, we have the beauty of Excel, which is the surface part. And then we have the visual basic, which goes into the inside the body of our spreadsheet. So I come now this time under the worksheet that I want to add this interactivity. I want to add the code. This time I'm not going to put it as a module, as a separate module here. I'm just going to put it in the within the worksheet. So it's just a simple code which is basically hiding any other worksheet other than the one that is selected. So as you can see here, for example here, because this selected one is moon, is going to hide all the other worksheets and it's just going to keep, it's going to go, it's going to go through a loop and it's going to basically just keep the one that is in this range E4 and the rest is going to just hide it okay so that's the one that is doing and then the last thing i did was just to run it you know so run the um run this uh, with the button so in the welcome page if you come your card selection is fortune so now it picked up the fortune card and it's going to say it out loud that your selected card is fortune and then you can go and read it so that was it so through this simple video you learned how to basically um, you know, create some kind of interactivity between your user by using some simple codes. Okay, so now the last thing I want to do, I want to pick up a card for you because now when I'm recording this video, we are getting closer to the end of the year 2021 and I want to use this spreadsheet to pick up one card for all of us for the new year to come. Your card selection is magician. All right, so we got the magician card. It says that the start of something, beginner's luck, having various tools and means of at our disposal, use of supernatural forces, creating reality with mind power, training and acquisition of practical skills, improvisation, display or show for other people, create a new reality. That's a beautiful message. I hope that we all create beautiful new realities for each other and for ourselves and uh, that's it for me for today i hope you like this video go and download the spreadsheet if you wish to see you know how this works and i hope to see you in my next video thank you and bye If you want to learn how to build better financial models, check out my online course on financial model spreadsheet design at courses.phoenixmode.com.